Hey guys, today I'm going to be pranking one of my high school bullies, not really like a full bully because I, I did have full bullies when they would come up to me and just bully the shit out of me, but I'm talking about one of these guys that was like a low-key bully, talk shit behind my back and was just a complete dickhead. I'm going to be pranking him with lyrics of Careless Whisper. If you don't know what Careless Whisper is, this is from the song. Yeah, that song. Let's get straight into this. What's up? Of what, buddy? I don't- I'm not quite sure why he's calling me buddy. I mean, he's never called me that in his life. What? Where are you actually going with your life? I'm going plenty of places, alright? I'm seriously asking. At this point, I'm not sure if he's seriously asking as in like, you know, asking what are you doing with your life right now? Or if he's just doing that sarcastic bullshit. Do you ever sit back and wonder where you'll be in 15 years time? Hopefully I'll do alright on YouTube, you know, hopefully I'll be doing well for myself. I mean, two subscribers away from 300, so I'm pretty excited about that. Within 15 years, hopefully I'll have at least a thousand subscribers, you know. I'm never gonna dance again. You're such a good internet troll, dude. I'm not sure if he's saying that in a nice way, or in a another way. Especially with that YouTube warfare with Jake Fraser. He, he commented on my Jake Fraser diss track saying that he's embarrassed that I was his age because we're doing stupid shit with our lives and stuff like that. Someone needs to slap you. Your parents. Now they don't need to slap me. I'll let you do it for them. Just, you have to promise me one thing. Please make it on the bottom. <sighs> they need to lap you. What what does lap mean? What, what does they need to lap you mean? Like, like bend me over their lap and smack me. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll let you do that to me. And tell you to get your life together, please. You don't have a girlfriend. I don't think you ever had a girlfriend. I'm out of school already. Well, I mean, I can't say that as a good thing. I mean, I dropped out, but uh, I mean, I'm on YouTube now. Hopefully one day I'll be pretty successful. Uh, so, so I can make this a full-time thing, you know, make this a career. He's still stuck in school at year 11, I think. I mean, he look, he looks like he's year 7, but, you know. You sad cunt. Uh, there, this is when I know he, he transitions from acting nice to saying that I'm a sad cunt. I mean, you can probably see how he's a dickhead. I feel so bad for you. Oh no, don't, don't, you don't need to feel bad for me. I mean, I already have plenty of people doing that already. You think it's just one big internet game until you're 25, unmarried, and without a job. And it sucks how you'll never take this seriously and how you'll just spit out more song lyrics. <laughs> You'd never say this to anyone's face, would you? I mean, I don't think I can say it to your face. I mean, you're too fucking short. It's funny because he says that I wouldn't say this to his face, but the way he was a bully, like, technically how he was a bully, like, his friends were, like, bullies to me as well, so it was pretty funny. And he, like, hid behind them, and he would always talk behind my back, talk shit about me behind my back, and then I'd find out about it, and he'd be like, yeah, what, what, but never say it to my face. You've never actually confronted anyone. You're just a scared little shit. You'd be surprised how many people I have confronted. I mean, I've gotten pissed off so many times. I've confronted I've confronted loads of people. And it's funny because he's hiding behind a computer screen right now. And he's, I don't think he's ever confronted anyone. He's confronting me behind a computer screen right now. I've confronted loads of people before. I've never felt the need to confront him before. Because he doesn't say anything to my face. He's too scared. So me and Bilal actually, like, started talking afterwards, and he actually apologised. I explained to it, because he thought that I was going nowhere with my life, so he felt the need to have a go at me about it. Um, I don't know why, but he actually, like, apologised, sort of. 
So I'm not sure. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a massive thumbs up. Please subscribe and yes. Peace.